One of my favorite parts of working from home is getting to fill my home office with my favorite music. Adding the right soundtrack to my day makes me more productive, and as a result, I've spent a ton of time researching ways to improve my audio setup at my desk. And so today, I will be sharing some of my favorite pieces of music and audio gear that I've added to my desk. My name is Nick Mo. it's 2023, and I'd like to welcome you all back to Work From Hype. First, let's talk about the speakers. I've been rocking the YU4s by Kanto as my main desktop speakers for close to two years now. They're great, but this video isn't actually about my speakers. It's about the accessories that improve my speakers. So here are some of my favorite audio accessories at my desk. First up are the speaker stands. If you take one recommendation from this video, make it this one. If your speakers are sitting directly on your desk, and not in line with where your ears are, you are not listening to your speakers at their full potential. Look, I'm not an audiophile by any means, but I've tested these speakers both on my desk and raised up to ear level, and the difference was remarkable to me. Once you get the speakers off your desk, I also recommend adding a set of speaker feet or isolation pads. Speakers like these aren't designed to sit flush against wood and metal. They need some air around them to sound their best. And these small rubber feet are an affordable way to make sure that you're getting the best sound possible out of your speakers. So we've covered how my speakers are mounted above the desk, but mounted down below are my headphones. I picked up this cheap double headphone hook on Amazon, and it allows me to keep my two most used pair of headphones near me at all times. My desk isn't that big, so I didn't want to dedicate desk space to a bulky headphone stand. This simple hook keeps my headphones close, but out of the way. Now this is a work from hype video, and if you're sub to the channel, you know that I have an obsession with desk gadgets. And so this list is about to change. So here are some of my favorite pieces of audio tech I use in my setup. My first piece of music and audio tech that I recommend is a media controller. A media controller is any device that allows you to interact directly with your music without having to use your mouse and computer. There are two main benefits to media controllers. First, they make interacting with your music easier and faster. It's nice to just reach over and do it. Second, they put your music on display. It's nice to see the album art, and it's also nice to know what song you're listening to if you're in the middle of a long playlist. I've covered a few different media controllers on this channel, and unfortunately my current favorite, the Spotify car thing, is no longer available. But you can create something very similar to the car thing if you have an old smartphone lying around. The second piece of audio tech I highly recommend is a volume controller. A volume controller does exactly what you think it does. It lets you control the volume of whatever you're listening to at your desk without having to use your mouse and computer to change the volume. My personal favorite volume controller is the PC Panel Mini. And I've made an entire video on this thing if you are interested in learning more, and I'll put a link in the description. But there are other options out there for controlling volume at your desk. There are tons of macro pads you can get on Amazon or AliExpress that feature knobs perfect for volume control or skipping tracks in a playlist. If you need volume control for your PC as well as a microphone, I like the M-Audio Air. It's technically an XLR recording interface and I use it for recording instruments and vocals, but y'all know me, I'm about them knobs and the M-Audio Air has nice oversized knobs that rotate slowly and allow me to dial in the volume of my mic as well as the mix from my PC. My final piece of audio tech that I've been experimenting with is this volume meter. A volume meter tells you how loud something is by converting decibels of sound into something visual. And in this case, that loudness is displayed as LED lights on a screen. At first, I thought these things were just a novelty item, an accessory for blasting music at your desk, and that's probably what most people use this for. But I found some other interesting use cases as well. This volume meter has a microphone, and so what you're seeing here are how loud the sounds are in my office, not on my PC. It's measuring the actual noise in the room, which I've found to be surprisingly useful. For example, when I record voiceovers for YouTube, I try to stay consistent with how loud I'm speaking into the microphone. And this volume meter gives me instant feedback. If I see the volume clip into the red, 
I know I need to lower my speaking voice as I record. As far as drawbacks go, this specific volume meter is a bit bright for my eyes, and I think it can be a bit distracting if you place it too close to your monitor. But hey, if you're a big RGB lighting person, this may actually be a feature and not a problem. So that's my list. These are the pieces of audio gear and gadgets that I use in my setup, and I believe they add to my listening experience at my desk. I hope these items can give you some inspiration for how you can improve your own music setup, and I hope that you find the perfect soundtrack to your workday. My name is Nick Moe, the channel is Work From Hype, Happy New Year to all of those who celebrate the passage of time, and I will catch you all in the next one.